Now that we've created a new QuickBooks file, we need to set up the configuration of linking the AutoPal account to this QuickBooks file for communication strings to occur via the QuickBooks web connector. To do so, navigate to your AutoPal account. For purposes of this example, I've created an automotive demo account. If you've not already subscribed to the QuickBooks tool, select My Account, AutoPal Store, QuickBooks Live, and walk through the checkout process. There is a sign-up cost and a monthly subscription for this tool. Once you've completed your activation process, then you'll be able to download the QuickBooks Web Connector and implement that. Step now we will review. Now we have the QuickBooks Web Connector tool, or rather the QuickBooks subscription, turned on for the AutoPal account. Now we need to link that up to our QuickBooks file. To do that, select Tools and QuickBooks Live. If you do not have this tab showing up with your user, that means that your user needs to have this access granted. This is possible if you have just recently activated your QuickBooks subscription to AutoPal. However, if you are an additional user as an accountant or some other party, you'll also need to have the administrative user of the AutoPal account grant access to you for the QuickBooks Live tool. That's both on the loan manager as a data option of the Send to QuickBooks, as well as underneath Tools and QuickBooks Live. Please review the access control videos and help materials on how to update access. For purposes of this training, we're going to go through the QuickBooks Live tool of the setup of the QuickBooks Web Connector. It's a fairly straightforward process. Inside of QuickBooks, we go to the QuickBooks Web Connector, which you can access by doing File, Update Web Services. This is a QuickBooks Web Connector tool that's managed by Intuit and downloaded from Intuit upon the install of the QuickBooks product to your application. However, if you do not have that link, you simply can grab that a download here from the Download QuickBooks Web Connector and we also provide a direct link. Both of these go to Intuit's website on their marketplace where you can get this information and download. The version that we recommend and that Intuit recommends that you run is the version 2.2.0.71. This is the casing for the applications that will run for communication string between third-party applications like AutoPal and your QuickBooks file. Now that we have the web connector already running on the machine due to the install of the QuickBooks, we simply need to copy this password and download the QWC setup file. Select download and make sure your QuickBooks file that you intend to link to is the opened file during this process for easy navigation. Go back to your QuickBooks web connector, add application, go to the location in which your file was downloaded and select open. Here you will walk through a multi-step process. The first is authorizing the new web service. Next, you'll get a pop-up here that will ask you the application certificate and it'll ask you for permission as to when it has authority to modify the company file. We suggest to do the third option of yes whenever this QuickBooks file company file is open. It's important to pause right here and notice that this is giving authorization to the QuickBooks file that is presently opened. If you run multiple QuickBooks files and you only want the QuickBooks Web Connector to speak with a single file, which is a standard install method, then you will see this pop up if the Web Connector is running in the background and you've accessed a new company file. We strongly recommend that you select a no on any additional QuickBooks files that's asking for permission to transmit data, as you want all data to only be transmitted to the single QuickBooks file. Select Continue, and then back to the web connector, we've now installed the AutoPal QuickBooks Integrator. We can go back to AutoPal, and this password that I've copied here, we need to put into the password section. And I'm just going to paste that. And now the communication string is set up between the two. If I go back to 
the QWC management here. I'm going to purge this for the demo purposes. I want to start all the way over from empty. And we want to show that the communication string is working between the two. If we go to QuickBooks, the next step now that we've set up communication is to send over items and services, chart of accounts, those things. In the previous tutorial, we actually created this QuickBooks file and it started out with the following chart of accounts based off of the industry that was selected. We would like to modify this chart of accounts and add some items that AutoPal can integrate with. To do so, we simply come back to AutoPal, choose Company QuickBooks Tools, and do QB Setup Complete. This will load the request over to the QWC Queue Management, and that request stays in the queue until the web connector runs. And so this web connector is, is currently configured to run an auto run every 10 minutes, however it is not selected. It's important to note if this is not selected, then it will not run. On most PCs, on Windows 7 or newer, when you restart the machine, this will auto unselect, meaning if you turn off your machine and restart it in the morning, then you will need to check this box off in order for the auto run to occur. On basic win Windows installs, hibernation does not do that, only a restart. So if we select this and choose to up do update selected rather than waiting the 10 minutes for the auto run to occur, we will notice in the background the configuration of chart of accounts coming through. And we see the creation of bank and auto notes receivable, deferred discount, and so forth. It's all created here based off of what was loaded from AutoPal. If we refresh the queue management, we notice that process is completed. We will go through a few more of these to make sure the company configuration is complete. Back inside of QuickBooks, we'll go to Lists, Customer and Vendor Profile, Payment Method List. These are the default payment methods that are su supported by QuickBooks. We're going to select that Payment Methods here in the exact same process. When the web connector runs again, it will append this list and add additional items to it. And we confirm that our items and services also have been created. And it looks like this demo account has a few custom QuickBooks setups for items and services. We want to make sure those get into the QuickBooks as well. So I have items and services open in the background and this will send over the custom 60 day late fee that is just a custom fee. These others come by default. And that is how you configure your company chart of accounts, items and services, and payment methods. In the next video, we will go through the configuration of vendors, and then we will go through the configuration of customers. And in the following video, we will go over sending over transactions and doing reconciliation and audits between accounts. Thank you for watching.